Welcome back people, we got some more fishing planet for you guys here today. Today I'm in Amazonia Maze, Brazil, the new lake. So I'm catching some electric eel. I'm going to show you my rod setups where I'm fishing. As long as you're using the same bait as me, the same hook, and um, fishing in the same location, you should be good. You could probably get away with a rod not as good as mine. This is the best bottom rod on the game, but because these fish are not absolutely giants, you could catch the electric eel, unique um, <clears throat> unique electric eel. You could catch that on probably a heavy chaser. But as you see there, unique electric eel. So I caught a couple of these, so I'm going to add a few of those video clips into it. But you spawn at the dock, as you saw there, where the boat is. That's where you spawn. And I'm casting over to here, so I'm going to cast just so that way you get a rough idea of how far to cast. I'm going to show you on the map where I am, but about 120 to about 130 foot straight in front of me there seems to work really, really well. Um, anytime I do live streams, I always use face camera mic. Anytime I make videos like this, I just hit record. It's a lot quicker for me to do that rather than keep setting up the face cam every time. We also now have memberships. We've got a lot of new people who's become a member. So everyone who has come, become a member, supporting the channel that extra little bit more, I really appreciate you guys. Obviously, I appreciate when you subscribe, but when you become a member, it does help out with the channel that little bit more. So I'm going to the daytime, just so that way you can kind of see where I am looking around. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. If you are enjoying these Fishing Planet videos, don't forget to drop a like. When these updates drop, I always do a live stream, like I did, um, showing you new hotspots, how and where to catch new fish. So, um, yeah, the boat dock is up there. It's quite a way to get to here, to be honest. You have got to have a boat. If you haven't got a boat, you're not going to be able to get there. So coming down here and then down this little path, and then you've got to follow this path all the way up and all the way around. So it does take a short minute to get here. But it's worth it. These electric eels are not the most easiest fish to catch. This is um, kind of separates the men from the boys, this this uh, this electric eel, if I'm honest. <laughs> it's not easy to catch. My best tip is just to have patience. Have patience, take your time, don't rush it, and um, eventually good things come to those who wait. So as you saw where I am now, you now know where I am. You've seen my rod set up. Um, I used flora, fluorocarbon leaders for this. Normally I, I'm always about monos, but the uh, fluorocarbon leader seemed to work quite well. So that's what I ended up using. And again, I did show my rod in real and all, all of my setups, so you can copy you can copy it there if you want. So changing over towards the night time, I was fishing peak hours. If you go into the if you go to the menu, um, it sh it will show you a weather forecast. Always fish where it's the yellow point, which is the highest point. That's where you have more chance of catching fish. So that is what I did for here. So I'm using the hash five slash zero five volt hook or barbless hook, some people call it, and then the fluorocarbon leader. That's what I'm using. Seventy point five pound leader, probably a little bit overpowered probably don't need it to be that strong to be honest because these um, these electric eels don't go that big but anyway we've made a video on how to catch sharks we've made a video on how to catch the white belly catfish we've made all missions all on the new lake all of those missions you'll find across the channel I've completed every mission and fish monster mission all of those videos again you'll find across the channel if you've got any comments do leave it in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you guys if you guys do catch one of these electric eels Definitely come back to the channel and make sure you leave it in the comments below and let me know. Because, yeah, to catch these electric eels does kind of separate the men from the boys. It is not easy to catch. You can actually see um, the electric eels. So that's one good thing. So I'm casting out to there, as I said, about 120 to 130 foot seems to work well. Um, and... Yeah, you can actually see it on top of the water. You'll see little little sparks. If you look out for it carefully, you'll see it kind of flashing on top of the water. And if you see it, just cast towards it. Now, the marker that I've got set, it did keep on flashing up next to it, uh, like little flashes. But I kept casting to the same spot. And I managed to catch a couple of these electric eels as unique. This video did take me a short minute. Unfortunately, I haven't leveled up as quick as what I normally do, just because I'm showing hot spots, um, showing how to catch, like I showed how to catch the Tahara as well, the shark hot spot, Arapaima hot spot, the white belly catfish hot spot, this um, hot spot for the electric eel. I'm going to make a video on the best hot spots in this whole entire lake. Maybe like four or five best hot spots. 
So keep an eye out for those vid that video. It will be coming very, very soon, probably after this one. Um, yeah, video on hot spots, best hot spots in this in this lake that I like. This place is absolutely the best DLC that I've ever brought, so I definitely recommend you guys to buy it. I've been playing this game for just over five years. I'm not sponsored by Fishing Planet in any sort of way to say that. Just purely my opinion, this DLC is so, so, so worth it. So there's a normal electric eel. Again, they can be kind of hard to catch as well. But I was using a hash 4 slash 0 on that. And then um, after me doing lots and lots and lots of testing using different leaders, I have normally spend about 6-7 hours finding these spots before I upload them and say this is a good spot. This one I spent about 9 to 10 hours on. Um, yeah, they are they are hard work to catch, but patience and it does come through. You also do get some uh, catfish here as well, white belly cats. Uh, just thought I'd put that into the video just to quickly show you. But um, yeah, it's a possibility you could get some of those in insanely big catfish from this location. Yet I have to try that. Um, but you saw the sparks there just in front. If you didn't see it, you could always go back a little bit. Take the video back. There was little sparks there just in front of me on top of the water. That's what you're looking out for. And if you see that, you can just basically cast to it. And it works quite well. There you go. There were some sparks there again. Sparks there. See the little flashing on top of the water? Okay, so this is the point anyway where I caught unique. I actually ended up catching two unique electric eels through making this, this uh, video. And both of those clips I do put together and edit it obviously into this video. I want to say, recently my channel views are up by 80%. That's, that's quite a bit. That's, uh, yeah, 80% compared to normal. It's gone up by 80%. That is absolutely insane. A lot of people becoming new members as well. So thank you everyone who's become a new member. If you want to become a member as well, click the link in the description below. It just helps support the channel that little bit more. If not, by subscribing. I still appreciate that. Helps me grow as a content creator and obviously sharing my content really does help. Don't forget to drop a like if you are enjoying some of these Fish and Planet videos. So there's my one there. A little bit small, that one. I do get one a tiny little bit bigger than that. But anyway, that's still not bad. £40, nearly £41. Electric eel. The next um, unique that I catch is not much, much bigger to be honest. But as I said, you can get away with using heavy chaser rods as long as you're using the same line, the same leader, fishing the same spot, using the same hook and same bait. As long as you're doing those things, you will definitely catch this electric eel as unique. Do have patience though, because uh, separates the men from the boys. This one, it's not easy. Put definitely put in comments below whether you caught it or not, though. I'm interested to find out. And um, if you've got any other comments, obviously leave them below and I'll try and get back to you guys as quick as I possibly can. We're now over 5k subscribers. I cannot believe that. That is absolutely insane how many sub people have been subscribing recently. So appreciate everyone who has done that. So this was my biggest one. Oh, not a lot bigger, but a, a slight bit bigger. £41 and a half electric eel. Not bad XP. Pretty good XP for a small fish. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. we we'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.